I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers, and this is the 2023 Honda Pilot, and it is over $53,000. You're saying, Jake, $53,000 for a Honda? You should be in Acura for that price. Uh-uh-uh. We're going to show you why this Honda Pilot Elite is worth that money, or at least you all can be the judge of it. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Let's talk about the exterior of the new Pilot. I absolutely love it. They did a great job with the styling. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Lights here, automatic high beams, of course, LED everything on this vehicle. You got fog lights down here. This vehicle comes with a trail camera right here with a washer. That's because this is the Elite Edition. You can also get that on the Trail Sport. The Trail Sport is also gonna get lifted suspension, off-road suspension. You're getting features like that trail camera and skid plates. That is all new for 2023. Really good looking vehicle let's take a look at the side at the side of the largest honda suv ever you're going to notice it's got this sporty rugged look to it one of the ways honda did that they took the a pillar they pulled it back and they lengthened the hood that's giving the vehicle a sportier look they also give it big 20 inch wheels on this elite edition look great with this sonic gray paint they also have puddle lights on the elite edition now it's not dark here so we can't see what they look like but you open the door you're going to get a nice honda puddle light projected onto the ground your mirrors are of course power folding as we would expect to see at this price point they have your blind spot integration they're heated all of that good stuff let's take a look at the back at the rear of the all new honda pilot elite i'm going to get my one complaint out of the way the completely fake exhaust you can easily tell they're completely false i'm not going to complain about fake exhaust if i can't tell that they're fake but if i can tell they're fake from 10 feet away i'm going to mention it 5,000 pounds of towing capacity though, that is nothing to complain about. You can tow a pretty large boat with this guy. That is awesome. This is a family vehicle. You're going on outing, you tow the boat, you are off to the races. Pilot spelled out across the back. That's something you're seeing on more premium vehicles now. And this is a $53,000 car. This is a premium vehicle. Opening up the rear right here, you're going to see we have 22.67 cubic feet of space. Put down all the seats, you're going to have 113 cubic feet of space. Now let's talk about putting down the seats. Putting down third row, easy peasy, you pull a strap and down it goes. Putting down the second row, that's going to be a bit harder. There's no buttons back here to put down the second row. That is a big disappointment. Now, a lot of vehicles at this price point, you see power folding or at least something that's going to help you easily put down the second row. Not so on this vehicle. But there is a cool seat feature of this vehicle I'm gonna show you right now. Under this compartment right now, I'm gonna open it up. Do, 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 do. What is this? This is a second row seat. This vehicle can either be a seven or eight seater. You take this right here and you can snap it in between the two captain's chairs up front. Now you have an extra seat. You can see it even has the cup holders ready to go right there. 14 cup holders in this vehicle, very impressive. I really like that feature. Honda says by doing this, you no longer have to leave that extra seat in the garage. You can just take it along with you for the ride. That is a really, really cool feature. The Honda Pilot is a really interesting vehicle. I can't wait to get one out on the road and drive it later this year. We got to take a quick test look right here at the 2023 DC Auto Show. Be sure to stop by. The DC Auto Show is here till the January 29th. Be sure to check it out. Let's talk powertrain. You got a 3.5 liter V6 putting out 285 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque, powers routed through a 10 speed transmission to all four wheels. Expect 19 in the city, about 25 on the highway. This vehicle has features like hill descent control, very useful when you're off-roading. It also has seven different drive modes. That is bonkers. Now on the interior of the Pilot, very well-built vehicle as we've come to expect from Honda. You have heated and ventilated seats, heated leather steering wheel right here, wireless charger up front here. Something really interesting about this vehicle, they redesigned the airbags to specifically reduce head and neck injury. That was a big focus of this vehicle. You have tri-zone climate control in here so everyone can be their own perfect temperature. Looking at the main display here, it's a really sharp display, good contrast, good resolution. The one thing is it feels like it's a little far back in the gauge cluster. Maybe you'll see what I mean if you get in one of these, maybe also you'll think that's a stupid complaint. Vertical speedometer is always a little bit interesting to see, but of course you have that big digital one right there in the middle. On the left side, you can control what the vehicle is displaying. You can display a variety of different apps, custom clocks with that customized display button, and of course you can scroll through all of your audio sources here controlled from the steering wheel. Really like this center display, but most of the action is going to be happening on the main infotainment display. 
Now looking at your infotainment, it's a nine inch system with wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It looks fantastic. This is the system that debuted in the Accord a few years ago. It has now moved to the Pilot. One of my favorite improvements, that is the finish of the system itself. Now, instead of having a cheap plastic toy-like feeling to it, it's got a real premium glass feel to it. And you have all sorts of apps here that you would expect to see in a vehicle, but the best part, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. That's probably what you're gonna hook up to this system, and that is a really nice touch. I recently had the Mazda CX-50 press car. I never understood how nice wireless CarPlay was until I had that press car. Now it's a feature I'm gonna highly recommend to people. If you're liking the video, be sure to like and subscribe. All right, gang, let's get back into it. Looking at your climate here, the switch gear in this vehicle feels fantastic. Really high quality tactile feel. You have USB-A and C chargers down here along with a traditional cigarette lighter charger. You have your wireless charger down here as well. And then you move back and you have all your drive controls. One thing some people may not like, they surrounded all the high touch areas with gloss black plastic. If that bugs you, it's just something you should know. This is gonna get fingerprints on it, but it, you know, just a quick wipe and that will be fixed. Now, your gear shifter, that's also a little funky, but it's something you'll get used to. What I really like is the area behind the gear shifter. You have easy access to your brake hold option, so the vehicle will hold the brakes for you at a stop until you touch the gas again. Your electronic parking brake, your auto start stop, so you can tell it, hey, when I come to a stop, don't turn the engine off automatically, keep it running, keep it idling, and your hill descent control and your drive mode controls. Again, seven drive modes, all sorts of off-road conditions there. Real nice feature to see, uh, especially, in, this isn't the Trail Sport model, this is the Elite model and they're giving you all those different drive modes. In the second row, right now, we have the captain's chair configuration, but remember, you can take that seat from the back, plop it here in the middle, put it up, then you're gonna have an eight-seater vehicle with a bench here in the middle. Now, the outboard passengers are gonna get heated seats. You have your own climate zone back here, and you have lots of charging options back here, including a full household power outlet. You, of course, have your peasant blockers back here if you wanna keep the light out or keep the peasants out. If you also wanna keep the light out, you can close your panoramic roof right now as it is, but if you want to let more light in, you pull this cover back and you can let in lots of light through that big panoramic moon roof. That is great for rear passengers. Always a nice feature to see. Talking third row, Honda has done a really good job with the folding seats right here. A lot of manufacturers screw up this really simple thing. Honda has not. One button, you push it, you're getting into the back real nice and easy. I'm going to jump in here and you can see you have plenty of leg room back here. Again, I wouldn't want to be here for a long, long time, but you're probably going to use this area for, you know, teenagers, kids, but even still, you could fit two adults back here and they would do just fine. You have cup holders back here. You also have air vents and power outlets back here, which is a real nice feature to see. The Honda Pilot has blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. In addition to that, it's coming with Honda Sensing, which is the standard suite of safety features. That's including adaptive cruise control, traffic jam assist, road departure mitigation, collision mitigation, and lane keep assist. The 2023 Pilot is a really interesting and good looking vehicle. I'm excited to get one out on the road and test it later this year. We got to take a quick look here at the 2023 DC Auto Show. Be sure to stop by guys. The show is here at the Walter E. Washington DC Convention Center until January 29th. So come check out if it's after the show, then make sure to stop by for the 2024 show and get ready for that. They have great selection, super cool vehicle comparison here. I'm Jake, Nick's behind the camera. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in next week's video.